I'm in a dumpster in situate. That's about three quarters full of marine debris that the majority of it's been actually recovered from the ocean. That wouldn't biodegrade. It would be out in the ocean for perpetuity. It would be continuing to fish, continue to mess up the environment. We've got old lobster traps, which is the majority of our debris. We've got gill nets. The ocean right off our shore and all that is alive within it is an incredible resource. But it needs our help. On a daily basis, the effects of industrial waste and climate change, the impact of commerce and recreation and our own neglect are threatening the oceans, our most vital natural resource. This is a gill net right here. This thing will float around the ocean. You think of this thing as, you know, like a tumbleweed, you know, it collects, it collects, and the fish come in and they'll, it just keeps on fishing. When I drive down the highway through New England, through other parts of the country, and see beautiful landscapes and countrysides and trees and mountains, and then I come across a pile of litter. Well, on the ocean, we can't see it. When we can't see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary is one of 14 special underwater environments managed by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Marine Sanctuary Program, about 25 miles east of Boston and lying totally within federal waters. The sanctuary stretches over 842 square miles. The sanctuary is one of the most important whale feeding grounds in the United States. It sits astride historic shipping routes and fishing grounds that have been the centers of maritime activity in New England since colonial times. And over the last 35 years, Stellwagen has become one of the world's top 10 destinations for whale watching. Stellwagen Bank has, has sustained us for over 400 years as a place that we can conduct our livelihoods that we can go fishing, commercial fishing, recreational fishing. Ecotourism is extremely important with, with bird watching, with whale watching. Boulder reefs that were dropped by glaciers 18,000 years ago capture the interest of divers and ocean scientists, much the way coral reefs do. Stellwagen's boulders are habitat to a panoply of creatures. Over 80 species of fish swimming around the seafloor or in the water column, feeding on sponges or echinoderms that are crawling over the ocean floor. The big, ugly wolf fish hides amongst the boulders and comes out and grabs its prey. It might be a lobster or a, a clam. But the inhabitants of Stellwagen Bank face daily dangers. Marine debris. That is, material that humans leave behind, accidentally or purposefully, has accumulated to such a degree that it is having a measurable impact on the commercial fishing economy as well as on marine life. Derelict fishing gear like gill nets and lobster pots is made of metal and plastic, which can last for hundreds of years. The harm that marine debris presents to species of marine life really can't be overstated. Sea debris is such a risk for underwater mammals, especially whales, because of their feeding patterns and their migration patterns. Whales can get caught in lines and gear and get entangled in their mouths, their tails, their flippers, and it can cause infection and prevention of feeding as well as movement. For fish, they get caught in nets or primarily lobster traps, and they can't get out, and they just die. In addition, derelict fishing gear poses a risk to scuba divers, and it mars the beauty of the underwater landscape. And you can imagine being a fisherman and trying to pull the fish out, and all of a sudden, you have this going through your hand. So it's not just a, a, a hazard to marine mammals, but you know us as fishermen and, and people. Drawing on the combined interests and resources of government, fishermen, ocean scientists, and conservation advocates, 
Stellwagen Sweep is a groundbreaking initiative to address the problem of marine debris. It's a fascinating story of how Stellwagen Sweep started. A local fisherman who his name is Frank Morak. He came to us in late 2006, and he said, I've got this problem. And these nets you see behind you, when they come up with debris in them, are dangerous. There's ropes sometimes, or lobster traps, or bits of plastic or metal sticking out. Sometimes in the catch of fish, there are lumps of uh, metal material, old tires, old kitchen appliances, the strangest things you can possibly imagine. Were we to throw it back overboard again, we'd just re-entangle it, and it would be back to uh, provide a risk the next time we haul back. And he said, so I want to bring it back to shore and get rid of it, but I have no way to get rid of it. They don't want to see it in the municipal trash. So what Stellwagen Sweep did was put dumpsters in harbors that would enable fishermen to not only dispose of gear that they were pulling out of the ocean, but also dispose of gear that were typically in boats and backyards. Then we partnered with waste management companies that took the used gear and recycled it for energy for use in people's homes. But the amazing piece of it all was the collaboration Stellwagen Alive had with the fishing community. None of this would have been possible without them. Today, we were fishing right on the edge of the bank. Here, you see these tracks? And we got ourselves down in this little bite right here. Good fishing there, but a pile of debris. Advances in underwater imaging and sonar now make it possible to find and track the movement of marine debris that is abandoned or lost in New England's frequent winter storms. When they get that cleaned up, it'll become a, a really productive fishing spot. So far, we've made a lot of progress. We've already pulled up 60 tons of gear. The fishing community is well engaged, and states and towns are coming to us for help, but we still have a long way to go. Removing the material is not a simple operation. Extreme care must be taken to avoid disturbing animal habitats, boulder formations, and historic shipwrecks. For the ocean scientists and fishermen working on the Stellwagen Sweep initiative, continuing to refine methods for debris removal is a high priority. When I started fishing 46 years ago, uh, the ocean was seen as a dump, a dump site. And little by little, the impetus has shifted from the ocean being a place of refuge to the ocean being a source of food and a source of, uh, of wealth and, and beauty to people. And I'm very pleased to be a part of that and to see that this particular sea debris project is enabling fishermen uh, throughout the Massachusetts coast to be able to share this kind of a resource and this kind of a philosophy and actually begin to develop a, a real sense of stewardship of the ocean. Stellwagen Sweep, one ambitious project in one part of our underwater world, is proof that we do have what it takes to make a difference. But it is only a beginning, and we need your help. By starting locally, by caring for our underwater Stellwagen Bank Marine Sanctuary, and by extending that stewardship globally, we'll be doing our part to restore the world's ocean habitats for generations to come. For more information, visit us online.